session we had a discussion about we discussed we had a discussion about how to read the data from the keyboard i mean dynamic input from the keyboard we discussed already by using which functions are input function are getting enter something enter enter something okay you can you can enter if you want to read anything from the keyboard compulsory we should go for input input is the input by using input function we can able to take but uh, there is a small problem is there with this input function yes the return type the return type of the return type of input function the return type of input input function is always the return type of input function is always always can you can you spell out sir what type sir string type the return type of input function is always string type remember this one that's why compulsory we have to convert into the corresponding type either by using type cache function either by using type cache either by using type cache functions okay type cache type cache functions or by using or by using one more very powerful concept i covered what is that concept sir eval or by using eval function right that's all this is what you people should be aware next and after that even i discussed above command line arguments also okay command line arguments arguments right sir very simple the command the arguments which are passing from the command prompt are called command line arguments the main objective the main objective are command line arguments the main objective of command line arguments is the main objective of command line arguments is to customize our program to customize our program our our program behavior so based on the work provided arguments the program by default is going to work sir okay based on based on now uh, based on the provided arguments so it is uh, our program is going to work for that purpose we can use command line arguments right next uh, if you want to access suppose i'm taking py test.py 10 20 30 something like so the arguments what we are passing from the command prompt the arguments what we are passing from the command prompt these arguments are by default considered as command line arguments remember this one what is the main purpose of command line arguments to customize the behavior of the program we can go for command line arguments right okay well next and after that so within the program if you want to access command line argument we should use a r g v are you getting one variable sir a r g v is always sir it is the name of the variable list of command line arguments are you getting list of command line arguments a r g v list of command line arguments right remember that okay next and after that one more small point you people should be aware a r g v present inside which module right sys module remember this one if you want to use a r g v compulsory we required to use which module sir sys sys module we required to use up to this any doubt can you please confirm are you in the position to understand right all these things already we discussed in the last session only i don't think uh, these are things are new things for you people right okay sir next uh, one more important point i have to discuss right sir here if you if you are considering sir arc b if you consider arc b arc b okay like if you are going to consider arc b yes can you please observe that yes sir this is the first value this one is the second value this is the third value like this right so have you observed right okay so name of the file will become first argument name of the file will become first argument make make sure you people should should be very clearly right okay now if i can take a small a small example i'm taking sir if you, if you if you consider the test.py are getting if you consider the test.py suppose i'm taking print the, sir import uh, from from sys import argv okay sir if i print the argv can you please tell sir for this input if i can if i run this code if i run this code so for this input what is the output by default you are going to get sir can you can you can you spell out sir if i can take py test dot py sir py test dot py if i can take like this sir what is the output because command and argument contain only one suppose if i can take 10 20 30 30 can you please tell what is the answer by default you are going to get what the answer by default you are going to get sir now it is the list 
this is the list in the this is the first element in the this one is the first element second element third element fourth element like uh, my list contain four elements are there the first command and argument is name of the file remember that the first command and argument itself is name of the file that's what what you people should be aware right okay so now my question here sir i don't want i don't want uh, sir the first one i want to ignore first one i want to ignore first one then automatically very simple sir can you please consider from one index onwards until end from one index onwards until end if you want to do like that then we refer to your argv from one index onwards until end are you in the position to understand right what is this concept this concept is called please confirm this concept is called this is called what what operator slice slice operator have you remember right sir slice operator colon colon is there slice operator right so from one index onwards until end until end can you please consider from one index onwards until end can you please consider like uh, if you want that then automatically we should go for like this one right okay so only this values if you want to do that okay now just observe that a r g v r one colon i'm taking sir here we have one colon like this i'm taking sir now can you please observe only 10 20 30 by default we are going to get just the 10 20 30 by default we are going to get sir that's all this is about what is the uh, what what we call ternary i mean what we call sir this command line arguments how to get only values without file name okay that's it sir now my requirement is a small chota program we will go so that you people can feel more comfortable right sir write a program write a program to read to read numbers numbers yeah the command line argument and the print the sum are you getting write a program write a program program okay to find the sum to find the sum sum of given numbers given given numbers numbers where where numbers will be passed yes command line arguments yes command line command line arguments right so how you can able to take how you can able to do that sir very simple can you please tell what is the code we have to take yes here here sum is equal to zero assume that sum is equal to zero i'm taking sir what is the next one here do you know for every number for every number in command line argument a r g v r one colon okay that's all sir are you getting for each x present in this list for each x present in this list present in this list what i have to take can you please tell sum is equal to sum plus x sum is equal to sum plus x x like this i'm taking print the sum is print the sum is sum i'm taking sir can you please confirm is it valid or invalid please respond is it valid or invalid huh can you please tell is it valid or invalid of course is it going to fulfill my requirement or not please confirm is it going to fulfill my requirement or not okay uh, remember this one is not going to work this one is not going to work what is the reason for that why this one is not going to work sir what the what the reason for that very simple very simple the reason for this is for x in a r g v of one okay what the reason is so all values in the command line arguments all values in the command line arguments in the command line command line arguments are string type by default considered what string type number number plus string number plus a string immediately error by default you are going to get sir now observe carefully observe carefully what is that error unsupported operand types in the under string are you getting unsupported operand types in the under string this is the problem by default we are going to get sir i hope everyone can able to understand right unsupported operand types in the under str this is the problem by default we are going to get sir so how you can solve this problem is type cast this x into int type are you getting type cast this x into int type that's all now perfectly it's going to work no problem at all now let me consider sir 
10 plus 20 plus 30. What is the sum? 10 plus 20 plus 30. What is the sum, sir? 60. 60 by default we are going to get. Yes, sir. 10, 20, 30, 40. 40, sir. What is the answer by default we are going to get? 100. Like this, like 100 by default we are going to get. 10, 20, 30, 40. The sum itself is nothing but 100 by default we are going to get. Any doubt? Can you please confirm? All the people are in the position to understand clearly. Okay, well, that's all. This is about, this is about what is the meaning, how you can able to, sir, read the command line arguments and how you can use based on our programming requirement. That's it, sir. Sir, next, uh, there is, a, there are just a one or two small doubts are there, small, small clarifications I want to provide, sir. So, it's a very, very easy. Don't, don't worry about that. What is the first one, sir? What is the, what is the, what is the first one? The first one here is now observe that carefully. Here I'm taking print of print of argv of one one plus argv of two. Sir, I'm taking because argv of zero zero itself is nothing but file name. That's why argv of one plus argv of two. I'm taking sir. Okay, like so second and third command line arguments like. Can you please tell what is the answer by default we are going to get? What answer by default we are going to get, sir? ARGB of 1 plus ARGB of 2. Sir, ARGB of 0 means this one, sir. And then 1 means this one. 2 means this one, sir. Can you please tell what output by default we are going to get? Sir, I told already. So, within the program, every command line argument is available in the string form. Remember this one is available in the string form. That's why what output by default we are going to get? Concatenation is going to be happened, sir. That's why what is the answer? 1020. Only concatenation is going to be happened. That's why 1020 is the answer we are going to get, sir. Okay, how I can solve this problem is if you want a really automatic addition, then let me convert into first one into intertype plus uh, second one also into intertype. Are you getting first one into intertype, second one is also into intertype. Now have a look once, sir. What is the answer by default? We are going to get 30. 30. Okay, so perfectly. So the important point what you people should aware within the program. Inside inside the program, every command line argument is available in the string form. That's why compulsory we require to we require to convert. Compulsory we require to type cast into corresponding required type. This is the first point, sir. Next one more conclusion is there. Just a legend, a bit very carefully about this one, sir. What is my next conclusion? Legend this one. Observe very carefully. ARGB of one. ARGB of one. What the what is the Command and argument I'm passing, sir. Sunny Leone. Sunny Leone is, sir, uh, this is the command and argument I'm passing. Can you please confirm what output by default we are going to get? Any doubt? Can you please tell what is the output we are going to get now? Sunny Leone, if I can tell, but I'm trying to print ARGB of 1. ARGB of 1. ARGB of 1. What the answer by default we are going to get? Yes, good. Take very special care. Okay. The answer by default we are going to get here is was or this is the ARGB of 0, ARGB of 1, under this one is ARGB of 2, 2. But you are printing only ARGB of 1. That's why the answer by default we are going to get sunny. Like this, right? Are you getting only sunny? Now my requirement is yes, ARGB of 1, 1 means sunny because this one is 0 index. This is one index. This is the second index. So I'm trying to print one index value. Obviously, this is the answer. Okay. Here there is one small twist is there, sir. What is that twist here is take 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 special care. What is that twist here is I want the complete Sunny Leone. Are getting please consider this total thing as a single single argument only. Okay, single argument only. I want to convey. So, usually, space is the separator between command and arguments. If our command line argument itself contains space, itself contains space, what we have to take is enclose, enclose this command line argument within double quotes. Are you getting not, not in single quotes? Enclose within double quotes. 
whenever we are enclosing within double quotes then this total thing is considered as one command line argument but in the output by default we are told to get a yes perfect certainly only right are getting second conclusion is also very clear so space is the separator between command line arguments okay if our command line argument itself contains space boss this total is one command line argument only how you can able to handle it sir very simple we have to take within double quotes if you can take within double quote this total thing is considered single command line argument only suppose sir instead of double quote is it possible to use single quote or not sorry not possible regarding sorry not possible can you please observe what is the output by default you are going to get single quote like this so here compulsory with equal to use double quotes only from the command prompt take very special care clear okay now the last point related to command line arguments right what is the last last the conclusion is sir i am trying to put a 100 oh 100th command line argument i want to print 100th command line argument i am trying to print but but i am passing how many command line arguments are 10 20 only two command line arguments i am passing but i am trying to print 100th command line argument so if you are trying to access command line argument with the out of range index then immediately we are going to get sir index error index error like this right sir list index out of range index error by default we are going to get okay these are three important loopholes what you people should be sir condition one command and arguments are always available in string form condition two space is the separator between command line arguments but if our command line argument itself contains space, then we should enclose within double quotes. Regarding, we should enclose within double quotes. Okay, like next, uh, if we are trying to access command line arguments with the out of range index, then we are going to get index error. That's it. Any doubt? Clear, right? Okay, that's all, sir. These are various things what you people should be aware about. What is input, uh, how to use input function, and uh, how to read command line arguments, and so on. This total story itself is nothing but, okay, the total the total story itself is nothing but command line arguments, right? Now, uh, of course, how to read input statements. Next step. Yes, Sushil, yes, eval function is going to solve the problem of typecasting because eval function is going to evaluate internally which value is there, the corresponding type it is going to be converted. Remember, next step. Here, just observe a bit carefully, sir. Here, uh, just I'm, I'm repeating second point again, sir. Observe py test.py py under then sunny under then leone i'm taking sir some people are asking having the doubt here see this one so now do you know this is the first command line argument this one itself is the first command line argument under then this is the second command line argument this is the top okay zero index one index under second index we have zero one two second index we have so here if you observe sir between between file name and the next command line argument space is the separator here also space is the separator if the space is there if the space is there then the next thing is considered as one uh, next command line argument only but my requirement is boss this total is a single command line argument if you want to consider single command line argument yes better to enclose within double quotes Whenever we are taking enclose within double quotes, now this total thing is by default considered as single command command line argument. Shilpa, are you able to get? Now how many command line arguments are there? Can you please confirm how many command line arguments are there now? 
in this example, how many common line arguments are there? Three. This is the first one. This is the first one. This total is the second one. And this one is the third. Like a total three. Three quotes also. Three quotes, single quotes. So these things are not going to be accepted. Okay, remember that. Can I go to the next level? Yeah, that's all. So these are various important points related to uh, command line arguments and input statements, right? Now the next cinema, we require to talk about output statements. Are you getting? Now the next cinema, we have to talk about output, output statements, right? Okay, very, very simple, sir. Sir, what are various output statements? I want to display something. Obviously, only one possibility, man, that is print statement. If you want to print something to the console, if you want to print something to the console, compulsory, we require to use, compulsory, we require to use, which statements are, the statement itself is nothing but print statement we require to use. Remember this one, sir. What the statement we are going to use? Print, print statement we require to use, right? Remember that, okay? That is the first step. Sir, but anyway, here, multiple things are there to discuss, multiple things are there to cover, sir, you people should aware. Okay, print, print statements are there. You people should, should be aware clearly, right? So now the important conclusion, but here multiple, multiple things we have to talk, sir. So first form, very simple, simple form. We are always using multiple times, right? So print a, print a string value I'm passing, sir. You can print any string. You can print any string, no problem at all. Happily, it is going to print that string to the console, okay? Here, multiple options I want to I want to provide for you people. Just observe that. Here, print a ah, hello, 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 hello world like this. I'm taking sir. Can you please tell? Is it valid or not? Yes. What the answer? Sorry. What the answer we are going to get now? What the answer we are going to get now? Hello world. Hello world by default is going to come valid sir. Next, <coughs> next. Uh, here, I'm taking backslash n. Yeah. Next, I'm taking backslash n. Yeah. Sir, these things are by default considered as what? These things are called escape characters. Escape, escape characters, right? Backslash n, I'm taking, sir. If I can take backslash n, new line, hello will be in the first line, world will be in the next line. Are you getting hello in the first line, world will be in the next line, next line, right? Sir, similarly, instead of backslash n, backslash t, I'm taking, sir. If I can take backslash t, have you observed? Space is going to come, no problem at all. Next, uh, instead of uh, here, so if you want, you can pass like this also. 100% pakka itself is valid, no problem at all, sir. So I'm taking hello plus world is nothing but hello world. Hello world is going to be concatenated. That the result of string by default will be printed. That the result of string by default will be printed, sir. Okay, well, it is also valid. Next, uh, hello, hello three times, sir. Hello, three times, sir. What is the result of this total expression? Can you please tell what is the result? Result of this total expression, what is the type? What type, sir? Result of total expression, what type? Ah, string type. Are you getting string? Are you getting? Result of total expression is what types of string type. That's why, what is the answer? We are going to get hello, hello, hello like this. So, first type, get the very clear for you people, right? Remember that. So, if you can pass a string at the argument, happily it is going to print the corresponding type. Corresponding uh, output is going to come, sir. So, here escape characters you can use. Concatenation symbol you can use, or reputation character you can able to use, no problem at all. Now I have one small doubt, sir. What my doubt is, legend, legend, how many people can able to answer? Please, please respond, sir. Hello, hello, do you know, even you can able to pass uh, any number of arguments. Sir, hello, comma, world, I'm taking, sir. Hello, comma, world, I'm taking. Print, ah. Uh, 
print a hello hello plus a word i'm typing can you please tell what is the difference between these two things sir the first one i mean sir this one already we covered just now what is the difference between these two things is it the same or different what is the difference between these two things can you please tell the difference here is how many arguments we are passing how many arguments we are passing two two arguments right two argument so between first argument and the second argument while printing space will come regarding while printing space space will come but here there is no such a type of space simply concatenation joined these two okay like that sir let me consider what is the output by default we are going to get just i will look once so hello plus word hello comma word what is the difference right sir because of two arguments because of two arguments sir comma comma means what space will space will come in the picture have you observed so the first one either together hello world together is there but the second one is nothing but space by default will be there remember that okay that's all this is one thing what you people should should be aware clear right so form 2 okay this is the form 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 2 okay like sir happily you can take string no problem at all so that string you can take plus operator and so on next uh, print a statement with any number of arguments or getting any number of arguments like this but while printing sir space will come in the picture remember that very very carefully about this one sir so how you can here just observe a comma b comma c is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 can you please tell is it valid or invalid 10 20 a comma b comma c is equal to 10 20 30 is it valid or not valid now the point is print a print a the values are the values are r okay a comma b comma c regarding the values are a comma b comma c now so first this one will be printed after that space sir second one third one fourth one the corresponding values will be will be printed right now can you please observe the values are 10 20 30 but if what we are going to get any doubt any doubt how many how many arguments i'm passing sir how many arguments i'm passing any number of arguments any number of arguments you can able to pass of course in this case four arguments i'm passing sir abja this is the first one this is the second one this is the third this is the fourth if any person coming from java background in java we are not having any such type of facility man regarding in java we are not having any such type of facility that's why you people should have clear clarity about uh, this technology more more preferable uh, more helpful when compared with the uh, java right okay like so this is one thing now i have a small doubt is there sir what the doubt is observe carefully observe very very carefully about this one sir what is my doubt is while printing a b c yeah the separator which one is going to come can you please tell which separator will be will be there ha ah, while printing sir if you are trying to print uh, three values while printing which separator will come can you please observe space will come i hope correct or not 10 space 20 space 30 like that we are getting but now my requirement is boss i don't want i don't want space i don't want space space i want the some other symbol oi so i want the something like my required output is 10 cola 20 cola okay 30 like that sir i want this type of output sir 10 cola 20 cola 30 this type of output i want if you want this type of output what we require to do is anyone can you please tell anyone can you please tell what is the way okay very simple we have to use sep attribute are getting what is the what is the attribute sir sep sep means what separator are getting sep means what separator how to use e yes you can pass all your variables at last argument sep is equal to 
which is separated you require okay colon separated i require are you getting sep is equal to colon separated i require to use then the output by default is going to come 10 20 30 with the colon separator getting right are you in the position to understand okay sometimes what will happen is i don't want i don't want separator i don't want colon separator i want the i want the iphone separator if you want the iphone separator then automatically like 10 colon 20 sir colon uh, i mean 10 iphone 20 iphone 30 by default we are going to get sir if i want the one space two space three spaces are you getting i want one space two space three spaces like we are going to get yes single quotes are also applicable clear right sir i don't want any separator don't don't take any separator just the single quotes open and close what the answer can you please tell what the answer we are going to get now i don't want any separator then automatically just the quotes open and close empty empty thing there yeah, the answer by default we are going to get 10 20 30. getting right so these are various important conclusions what you people should be aware clearly right can i go to the next level are you able to understand so which attribute we discussed can you spell out what is the attribute name what is the attribute name sep what is that sep sir okay sep attribute Okay, like this. <clears throat> uh, Sushil, don't worry. Within the program, single quotes, double quotes, triple quotes, no problem at all. But command line arguments we are passing from, from outside of the program. That's why there it is going to accept a double quotes only. But within the program, even instead of single quote, you can take double quotes also. Same output by default you will get within the program make make sure okay well now i have one more thing one more one more one more terminology right sir end end attribute is also there what is the purpose of end attribute sep means if you are trying to print multiple values multiple values while printing these values which is operator we require which which is operator we want for that we can go for SCP attribute. Okay, well. But now my requirement is just observe carefully. Print off, print off. Okay, here I'm taking hello, hello. Next up, print off. Hello, Durga. Okay, print off. Soft, I'm taking, sir. Hello, Durga. Soft, like this, I'm taking, sir. So now, Take uh, a bit carefully. Hello, Durga Sap, like this. What is the output I will get now? Can you please respond? Don't get confused. Don't get confused. Listen more carefully. Most of the people are always having the doubts at this stage. Just uh, can you please tell what is the output by default you are going to get now? Yeah. What is the answer? Hello, another Durga, another Sap. Is it going to come? In the same line or in multiple lines? In the same line or multiple lines? I want, I want. Hello, Durga Sakta. Is it going to come in the same line or multiple lines, sir? Multiple, multiple lines, sir. Ah, remember that. Every print statement internally at the end, new line character is there. Are you getting? Because of that, after this print, new line after this print new line that's why what is the output we will get hello durga soft are you getting so if you have four print statements are there then four lines of output by default will come okay if it is a java we have print ln and the print both are different but in python print ln is not there whatever print internally ln is already there already there that's why sir after printing this one 
after printing this current line, every time new line character by default will be added. Remember that. That's why what is the output by default we are going to get, sir? Hello, Durga. So all the three things in the three different lines we will get. What am I requirement here, sir? I don't want in the three lines. I don't want three lines, sir. Sir, I want to specify n character, not the new line character. I want to specify n character. Yes, my own character. My own character. How you can able to use for that? We have to go for n the attribute. Are you getting right? Earlier we covered one. Ah, SCP attribute, sir. SCP attribute. So do you know SCP attribute? When it is required is whenever we are printing multiple values, multiple values by using single print statement in between these values which is separator is required. Okay, SCP. Sir, when end attribute is required, whenever you have multiple print statement, so after printing this one, which end character you want, then we can go for end attribute, right? Okay, well, sir, what is the meaning of this one? Just observe. Hello, hello, comma, comma, end attribute is, I'm taking, I'm taking backslash n, sir. Can you please tell me, what is the meaning of backslash n? Please respond. What is the meaning of backslash n? New line, new line. That's why after hello, hello, immediately new line will come. Whenever we are trying to print Durga, Durga will come in the next line. That's why we are always going to get Durga in the second, next line only. Okay, like that. Can you please scratch it? Hello, hello. Immediately, Durga is coming in the next line. So, internally, which character is there? This is the character, sir. Sir, I don't want that new line. I don't want that new line, sir. Better to use iPhone symbol. Better to use iPhone symbol. What will happen in this case is, first hello will be printed. After printing hello, which character you want? After printing hello, which character you want? I want, uh, I don't want new line, sir. I want iPhone. Oh, add iPhone. Add iPhone. Now not new line. Add iPhone. Next to Durga. Durga. Durga will be printed in the same line after iPhone symbol. Are you getting it? But for this, n attribute you didn't specify. n attribute we didn't specify. That's why automatically default n attribute is the new line. Now soft is going to come in the new line. This is the output by default we are going to get. Hello, iPhone Durga, and then soft by default will come, sir. Now, have a look once. Can you please observe? Hello, iPhone Durga, and then soft is going to come. Take a bit very special case, sir. Okay? Now, my requirement is, sir, after this Durga, which one I want, sir? N is equal to colon I want. Can you please confirm? What is the exact output we are going to get? If I run this code, Please confirm. If I run this code, what is the output we are going to get now? Okay, sir, what is the output by default you are going to get? What is the output Output by default you are going to get, sir? The output is, sir, very simple. Just let me, let me try, sir. First, hello will be printed. And then, and then, sir, not a default end. Oh, we specify. Which one, sir? iPhone. iPhone. Next, Durga will come next. Sir, after Durga, not a default new line. Colon will come, sir. Colon will come. After colon, next one, sir, soft will come in the picture. That's why this is the output by default we are going to get, sir. Now, let me consider. Can you please observe? <coughs> are you, everyone in the position to understand, right? Yes, friends. So while printing patterns, I want to print a pattern. Pattern, patterns, pyramid. Next, uh, diangle, uh, triangle, right angle, triangle, like uh, there, this uh, separator end attributes will play very important role. That's why you people should have clear clarity about this uh, terminology, right? <coughs> <coughs> Good. 
divisor there is no way to specify directly okay only one place every time we require to specify every time every time we have to specify separately okay well i have one small doubt sir what is my doubt is sir think a bit very carefully if any person unable to get please let me know i will i will explain i will i will explain sir sir now here my requirement is print of 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 i am taking comma scp is equal to colon i am taking scp is equal to colon i am taking end is equal to of course scp is equal to colon print the r okay sir a a comma b comma c i am taking c i am taking sir scp is equal to scp is equal to iphone symbol i am taking comma end is equal to end is equal to colon i am taking next up print of okay durga that's all sir i want the exact output how many lines of the output will be there and the, what is that output is it only one line or two lines or three lines and the, what is the exact output can you please tell total how many lines of the output we are going to get total how many lines of the output we are going to get two lines good two lines what is the first line output yeah we can use scp and the end both attributes simultaneously no problem at all can you please confirm yes what is the first line what is the second line okay now everyone in the position to guess what is the output we are going to get sir very very simple let me let me consider that let me let me consider here legend legend this one sir first to first you are trying to print 10 20 30 40 so 10 10 okay 20 next and after that 30 and then 40 okay first line sir four values we printed with the separator but you didn't specify end attribute if you didn't specify end attribute default the end attribute is new line now the next output will come in the next line now a b c with the iphone separator that's why a b c will be printed with the iphone separator and there end attribute also you specify end attribute also you specify instead of next line in the same line colon will be there okay under this durga will come in the same line durga will come in the same line remember this one so this is the output by default we are going to get two lines of the output any doubt any doubt can you please observe okay 10 20 30 40 and then a b c colon durga that's all still so what is n what is scp n attribute means n attribute will talk about multiple print statements but scp attribute talks about same print statement with the multiple arguments observe the difference don't get confused so both the terminology both purpose is the different so if you have multiple print statements are there one print statement to another print statement in the middle which is symbol you want that thing will be decided by end attribute sir within the same print statement if for multiple values are there if for multiple values are there then what is the separator between these values that thing is going to be decided by that thing is going to be decided by scp attribute both are different scp means separator n means end attribute right next can i go to the next line can i go for the next one okay like sir now do you know 
we can able to use print a statement you can pass any object no problem at all sir any object you can able to pass itself is acceptable sir sir i'm taking 10 i'm taking 10 print all true i'm taking print all print all 10.5 i'm taking sir next up print all okay sir durga i'm taking next up print all okay print all 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 i'm taking sir print all okay sir 10 comma 20 comma 30 30 like this i'm taking print all do you know print all sir just a i'm taking a colon 101 comma b colon 102 102 like this i'm taking sir b colon 102 like like i'm taking can you please tell all these things are acceptable or not yes friends all these things are acceptable or not yes these things are acceptable so print a statement can take any object as the argument no problem at all sir okay so 10 true 10.5 durga like a list you can pass sir. tuple you can pass sir. and even dictionary also we can able to pass no issue at all okay like that. next uh, have a have a look once uh, sir yes is equal to durga i'm taking yes is equal to durga i'm taking age is equal to some 48 i'm taking sir so yes one subject one is equal to java i'm taking yes two is equal to sir python i'm taking sir S2 is equal to Python. Now observe that print of hello, hello, yes, hello, yes, yes means what? Durga, hello, yes, yes, sir. Next, you are, you are, age is, you are, age is, is, age. Now observe, hello, hello, yes, sir. So now, yes value will come in the picture. Next and after that, your age is age value will come in the picture. Okay. Now print off, print off. You are teaching. Uh, you are you are teaching. You are teaching. Okay. Like uh, uh, yes sir one, yes sir one, comma yes one, comma and yes sir two. You are teaching yes one and yes sir two. By default, we are going to get sir. Observe that. Observe that a bit very carefully. Hello, Durga. Your age is 48. You are teaching Java and Python. Something like uh, by default it's going to print. Any doubt? Kushbu, I hope your doubt got clarified. Am I passing string? String and age parallelly. Into value, number, and then string parallelly. No problem at all. Are you getting that? Okay. This is what you should aware next and after that okay just to take a bit very special care sir sometimes we can use print statement are you getting sometimes sometimes we can we can use uh, print print statement sir with the uh, you know print print statement with the format formatted string print statement with the formatted string remember this one sir what is the meaning of print statement with the formatted string Sir, very simple. You may have percentage i. Okay, you may have percentage i means sir, uh, intertype sir. Even you may have percentage d. Percentage d also intertype. If you have int value, just you can you can place with percentage d. Next, if you have percentage f, percentage f, then automatically itself is float value. Percentage f itself is the float value. Percentage yes, sir, itself is nothing but string type. Regarding just uh, these type of things are by default concerned. Yes, these things are formatted, formatted characters. Regarding that formatted character, sir, how you can able to use right? How we can we can able to use? Very simple. One or two examples I will discuss so that you people can feel more comfortable, right? Sir, very simple. Print R, print R formatted string formatted string string like this i can take sir formatted string and the space space and the percentage variable list are you getting variable list sir observe very carefully sir so this total is print statement this total is print statement in the in the sir this is the string string in this string you may use some variables right now for these which values we require to consider percentage 
variable list we have to specify. Okay, like if I will go for one or two examples, then you people can able to understand very, very easily. Don't worry, don't worry about that, sir. So how we can how we can able to use this one, sir? Suppose best example, sir. I have I have three values are there. Sir, observe string this is formatted string space space percentage of variable list ali just observe that here i'm taking here i'm taking a comma b comma c is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 print as print as my requirement is the values of a and b a and b a value a value is a value is is a, sir a is what type percentage i or percentage d you can able to take anything sir a value is percentage i and the b value is percentage i i'm taking sir now string completed string completed this is the formatted string Regarding this one itself is nothing but what formatted string. So in this place you have to take int value. In this place you have to take int value. Two places we decided. Now which values we require to consider here and here, sir? Which values we require to consider here and here? Here we have to specify percentage. Here we have to specify percentage a comma b, sir. That's all. Can you please observe what is the output by default we are going to get now? What is the output by default we are going to get now? Sir, first percentage i. Oh, it is the int value. First percentage i, it is the int value. A value will be considered. Second percentage i, it is uh, so b value by default will be considered. Then the output will become 10 followed by 20. That's all. Percentage a, percentage b is not acceptable. Sushil, you can't use like that. <laughs> Percentage A, percentage B, percentage C, such a report technology is not there. Okay? Like, now, can you please observe? A value is a 10, B value is a 20, 20, like this, like. Okay, well. Now, C value, assume that, assume, assume that, I want to take C value, print R, print R, C, C value is, I want to print C value, print R, C value, C value is, what I'm trying to take, sir, percentage i. C value percentage i. Now, how many variables are there? Can you please tell how many variables are there? Only one variable. If only one variable, only one variable, parentheses are not required. Parentheses are not required. If you want, you can take C. Within the parentheses, no problem at all. Now, the answer by default, we are going to get right. Sir, if you want uh, only one variable, that's why percentage is C. Percentage C like this perfectly valid. Getting right? Yeah, Ali. Now observe this. Sir, here, yes, yes is the different, percentage yes is the different. Both are not same. Yes is the different, percentage yes is the different. So, yes means uh, you are going to consider yes value. Percentage yes means uh, it is any string. Which value is going to be considered? Later you have to decide that. Clear, right? Okay. Sir, now I have one small doubt, sir. So, here two values are there. Two values are there. Okay. My requirement is percentage A, percentage A, and, and the comma percentage b i'm taking sir percentage a comma percentage b is it acceptable or not can you please observe invalid syntax social invalid syntax invalid syntax getting the point right so this is invalid you can't but if you take percentage of a comma b is it valid or not perfectly this one is valid now observe if you have multiple values are there percentage and then within the parenthesis you can take all the values this type of thing is called formatted strings social getting any doubt can i go to the next level
it is won't it won't accept so shape all values all variables within the parenthesis we require to take just a try it won't accept okay one more print statement is there one more one more print statement is there this part is also a bit very important sir it's a very commonly used concept sir now listen carefully here i have i'm taking name name is equal to durga name is equal to durga salary is equal to 10000 next the girlfriend my girlfriend name is sunny okay <laughs> like this i'm taking so total three variables are there name salary and then girlfriend like that i want to print uh, my my requirement is i want to print uh, hello hello durga hello durga your salary is your salary is 10000 and uh, your girlfriend your girlfriend okay girlfriend sunny your girlfriend sunny is uh, waiting that's all this is about my requirement my requirement sir there are two approaches you are going to use one approach one approach just now we discussed about formatted string it is applicable applicable no problem at all can you please guide uh, how i can take print of print of let me take uh, sorry print of let me take uh, within quotes this total thing this total thing here durga durga is what type string type percentage yes hello percentage yes your salary is what type sir percentage d or percentage i and your girlfriend sunny is waiting percentage yes okay fair now space space percentage within bracket we have to specify variable so first thing we have to replace with the name that's why you can take a name second one we have to take uh, replace with the salary third one we require to replace with the gf okay that's all now let me print this one let me let me print this immediately you are going to get output yes okay hello durga your salary is at 10000 and your girlfriend sunny is waiting perfect is valid right percentage d percentage i both the things meant up for int values both both options are there percentage d decimal value percentage i integral value both the things are same vijay friends everyone in the position to understand right this is this is one way this is one way one way sir there is another way is also there i want to use a replacement operator what is that replacement operator is now observe that now observe this one another another way is also there sir so this one i don't want to talk because already we discussed it, right already already we discussed it. what is the second one yo Uh, akanksha no you can't write in python it's not allowed okay what is the third possibility i mean next possibility right print of print of okay now here you can copy this total print of you can copy this total this total first one whatever type we are not required to worry just take curly brace curly brace second one you can take curly brace third one you can take curly brace curly brace that's all so wherever variables are there just take curly brace dot dot format r can you please format this string format this string first one replace with the name second one replace with the salary third one replace with the age are you getting first one replace with the Ah, uh, first replacement operator with the name, second replacement operator with the salary, third replacement operator with the girlfriend. 
Are you getting girlfriend like? Yes. These are type of thing is by default considered. Yes. Replacement operator. Just the calibrate open and close. Is called replacement operator. Most commonly user kind of things are. Suppose there are multiple variables and values are there. I want to print all those. Better to use this type of format. It's a very commonly required concept, sir. Make make sure you should aware. Observe. If I consider, hello Durga, your salary is ten thousand, and your girlfriend Sunny is waiting. Perfect. Are you able to get? Okay. Now suppose I have just observe that I have sir four variables are there, sir. A is equal to ten, comma B is equal to twenty. Comma C is equal to thirty. Comma D is equal to forty, sir. Sir, there are four variables already there. Already there. I want uh, exactly this output. I want exactly this output, sir. What is the way? I want this output. Already A, B, C, D is already there. I want to print this output, sir. What is the way? Print of A. A is equal to is equal to comma 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 A value. Next comma. So B. Is equal to is equal to comma b value b value like we have to specify next more b b value comma comma next c is equal to c is equal to is equal to comma c value next one after that d uh, here do you know d is equal to comma d value d value like are getting is it a bigger problem or not? Yes, there is a big problem. A, comma, B, comma, comma, and so on. Instead of this nonsense, uh, what I will take here is very simple, sir. Very, very simple. A is equal to comma, B is equal, sorry. Comma, B is equal to comma, C is equal to comma, D is equal to like this, right? Dot format of, dot format of A, comma, B, comma, C, comma, D. That's all. Now, is it very easy or not? This type of style is very easy or not? Instead of taking first string, another value, first, second string, another value, instead of this nonsense, directly, sir, I want this is the final output. Next, wherever curly braces are there, can you please replace like this? Yes, if you want, let me execute this code. Let me, let me execute this code, sir. What is the output by default you are going to get? Perfectly, sir. Here there is some small syntactical mistake. Yeah, you should not. You should not take like this. A is a comma b comma c comma d is equal to ten comma twenty comma thirty comma forty. Can you please observe? What is the output by default you are going to get, sir? A is equal to ten. B is equal to twenty. C is equal to thirty. Like this, we are going to get. Clear? So here it is not going to work. Okay, this is one one style what we have. There is one more one more way is also there. One more way is also there, sir. What is that way? What is that way, sir? Here, anyway, let me go back to our first example. I mean, name like this. This is the first one, first replacement. This is the first replacement operator. This is the second replacement operator. This is the third replacement operator. Now. This is the first value, second value, third value. Most commonly used approach is this. But uh, I'm taking 0, 1, 2. Something like index I'm passing. This is the first value. So 0 at the place. This is the one index value. Here will be. This is the second index value. Yes, it is going to be considered. What is the output we will get? Perfect same output only. Hello, Durga. Your salary is 10,000 and uh, your girlfriend, son is waiting. Perfect. Suppose by mistake, suppose by mistake, by mistake, salary, comma, GF, comma, name. What is the output we are going to get now? <laughs> what is the output by default we are going to get? Is it a problem or not? Okay, respond. Is it a problem or not? Zero at the place, it is going to be considered. One the place it is going to be considered. Second the place this one is going to be considered. What is the output by default? We are going to get no error, no error. But the output, hello, ten thousand. Your salary is sunny, and your girlfriend Durga he is waiting. 
Are you getting a complete uh, different uh, terminology will come? Are you getting now what, what I call today? Are here which thing you require? Name, name. This name is available. You have to which index place? This name here name is required. This name is available at which index place? 0, 1, 2, 2, 2 index. Now take a two, sir. Next up. Hello, name Durga. Your salary is salary, salary is available at which index place? Zero index place. Zero index place. And your girlfriend, girlfriend, where is available, sir? Girlfriend, GF, at one index place. Is waiting. That's all. This is also one way, but very rarely the people are going to use this syntax. Unnecessary confusion, but you should be aware. Yes, it is also valid syntax. Now, perfectly, the output is going to come. Hello, Durga. Your salary is 10,000, and your girlfriend son is waiting. Something like we are definitely we are we are going to get perfectly right. Yes, this is one possibility what we have. Of course, very rare the people are going to use. Next up, one more thing is there, sir. One more, one more approach is there. What is that approach is? Don't, uh, don't uh, pass index. Index. Okay. Confusion. Next, uh, here also, in any, in any other you can take, no problem at all. But my output is always same. How you can able to take? Here, hello, M. Salary is, yes. And uh, girlfriend name is G. I'm taking any 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 variable A, B, C also. No problem. Any variable name you can take. Now, sir, N. N means uh, N is equal to name, sir. Next, uh, yes means uh, yes is equal to salary. Next, uh, G means uh, G is equal to G. Are you getting keyword arguments? Keyword arguments you can pass. Keyword arguments. So, yes means uh, salary, G means uh, girlfriend, N means uh, name, something like we are going to pass. Even this type of possibility is also there. Okay? Need not be N. Okay? X, Y, X, Y, Z also you can take. Any variable name, any variable name. X means uh, name. X means uh, name. Next, uh, salary is Y means uh, salary. Y means uh, salary. Next, uh, girlfriend means Z. Girlfriend means Z. Z is equal to girlfriend, like this, right? Perfect. What output by default we are going to get? Hello, Durga. Your salary is 10,000, and your girlfriend's son is waiting, something like that. Any doubt? Can you please confirm? Everyone. In the position to understand this terminology, right? Yes, friends. That's all. This is what replacement operator. Replacement operator. This is what what you people should aware. Okay, multiple options. So, you know, this thing is enough. Why we should not consider Java? <laughs> Are you getting it? Yes, only this, uh, this point is enough. Why we should not go for Java? Because in Java, multiple arguments are not there. If you want to pass multiple arguments, uh, multiple uh, print statements, uh, system SOP statements must be required. But here, one print statement, any, any number of arguments you can pass, no problem at all. Are you getting all these various options are available? With more comfort, based on our requirement, you can use anything, no problem at all. So, good news for you is with this, our input and output statements completed, sir. You know, one more statement is there. If I'm not taking anything, sir, print. If I'm not taking anything, what is the meaning of this one? If I'm not taking anything, just a print, that's all. No argument. No argument means one blank line will come. One new line will come. Wherever new line is required, then simply you can use empty, empty statements. Okay, even yesterday I used after printing employee information, employee to employee, new line is required in the middle. 
there no, print empty now the next output will will place after one line so readable t purpose we are going to use this one next for any object type okay sir some people may ask sir you told for string and so on i want i want list type sir percentage yes sir. for any object type i mean for list tuple like these kind of things sir we require to use percentage yes only okay like sir yes yes itself is the correct pushbo l is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 this is my list sir this is the this is the list we have now my requirement is observe carefully sir this is the list so print of print of list items are list items are percentage yes i'm taking okay so percentage percentage sir here formatted string contain how many values only one which value you require to consider sir l okay here percentage yes sir. means uh, can you please consider l can you can you consider l like this right now what is the answer by default you are going to get sir have you observed like this okay so percentage yes is applicable for any list to pull like these kind of things push book getting okay next one more one more sir uh, sushil maybe even yesterday also he asked i don't know the reason why is that much specific about this one sir do you know what is the what is the print print what is the what is the meaning of print sir print is a function or not inbuilt function python's inbuilt function to print value python's inbuilt function to print value value like this right now my target is a is equal to 10 i'm taking a itself is equal to 10 10 i'm taking sir now if i can take print of a a can you please print a value what is the job of this print just to simply print a value to the console a value to the console next uh, if i can take a print of print print of print what will happen is again this one first this one will be executed because of that 10 will be printed 10 will be printed it is a function call but this print function won't return anything anything if it is going to return something now the return value is a none none if your function won't return anything return value itself is a none none now print is going to print this one first 10 under then none will be printed so shell getting the point regarding because it is a function call what is the return type of function call what is the return type of function call then automatically like Next, Ali, you can able to use L of 0, L of 0 and with the percentage D. Yeah, that's all. This is. Can you please observe this one? L is equal to 10, 20, 30. If I want to print only 10. If I want to print only 10, only 10, then print a L of 0. L of 0, like this, right? Perfect. Only 10 we are going to get. Next, uh, if you want, uh, if you want, uh, okay, the first element, the first element is, uh, first element is uh, percentage i. First element is percentage i, okay? now percentage s l of zero can you please observe type error unsupported operand type and are you seeing anywhere and and yeah sorry percentage percentage l are you getting right percentage l l okay like this in the print statement ali are you able to understand because it's the empty value right that's why you can able to use percentage i. 